What are you at, boys? Welcome back to the channel. So, as you can tell, we're out for another little adventure. So, it's late September and finally got a weekend to get out in the woods. So, I got the two dogs here with me, Goose and Millie, and we're heading into the woods for the weekend. So, the plan is to stay for two nights. So, I've got a heavy pack on my back here and got gear to stay for two nights. So, small game season opened a couple of weeks back here in Newfoundland and i got my shotgun with me so we're going to be just spending the weekend out here looking for some grouse or uh, any kind of small game waterfowl season is also open so any uh, ducks or geese will be fair game as well and there's a few ponds in this area so hopefully we'll run into uh, some ducks or geese or something but yeah we're about an hour into the hike here right now i'm just getting the camera out and uh, getting some footage so we got about another hour, I would say, to go to get to the place I have in mind to camp tonight. So it's mid afternoon now. It doesn't get dark until around 8 o'clock. So we still got quite a few hours to get where we're going, set up camp, and uh, get a fire going and stuff. So, anyways, it's going to keep going down the trail. Hope you guys stick around and enjoy the video. All right, let's go. Whew, I'll tell you, I am huffing and puffing here with this. Uh, heavy backpack on I haven't been out doing this this kind of camping for a couple of months now so yeah when you uh, when you don't get out for a while it doesn't take long to, uh, to get out of shape that's for sure but anyways it's a beautiful day out it's about eight degrees Celsius nice sunny day as you can see it's nice uh, nice to feel fall coming nice to get out in the woods in some cooler temperatures supposed to be a little warmer tomorrow I think up around 18 degrees but it's supposed to be a decent weekend overall so just looking forward to uh, spending the weekend out here haven't been out for far too long so should be good anyways we're almost down to the next pond now so I'm gonna try and creep up to that pond and uh, keep the dogs back by me see if there are any ducks out in the little cove Well, pretty good breeze of wind ripping down this pond here. Doesn't look too bad on the camera, but it gusts up every now and then. Yeah, no sign of any ducks yet. They'd probably be up in the far end of the pond, just based on the way the wind is, but. Anyways, uh, I gotta bushwhack my way around the shore, way up to the far end of this pond. That's where I have in mind to uh, camp, at least for tonight. So there's a spot up there I saw in the winter time that looked like a decent spot to camp. So I'm gonna head over there. Hopefully it's good. If not, there's another spot further down that I've camped before that I know is a pretty good campsite. So yeah, we're gonna do some some bushwhacking here in a second. But first I'm gonna filter some water, have a little snack maybe, and then probably take us the better part of an hour to get through the woods and get down down to the far end of this pond. What do you want, Goose? Chasing sticks already. Well, we're back on the move. So, we're into some pretty tangly stuff here now. Look at all these windfalls. Hard to tell on the camera, but these are probably up close to shoulder height. So, to try and find a way around all this, and this place is just littered with windfalls. Pretty tangly. Anyways, we're probably about halfway down the shore of that pond. So just gonna keep plugging away at it. Dogs are doing great. So they're going ahead a little bit, but they're checking back with me every, every probably 10, 20 seconds. They're doubling back and making sure they're checking back with me, which is good. guys well it looks like this is going to be home for the night so we were just basically bushwhacking our way down along the shore of the pond 
I stumbled upon this spot right here, and uh, I don't think I'm going to find a better spot than this. So there's a beautiful view of the pond right here. I'm going to set the tent up right where the camera is, and I'll be looking right out at the pond. So great view. I'm up on a bit of a hill here, and it's all mossy, so it'll be a great spot to set the tent up. Uh, I'm in a bit of a spruce forest, mostly black spruce, and there's a ton of dead standing trees around, so firewood should be should be abundant. I shouldn't have to go far at all to find wood. So yeah, I'm really liking this spot. Goose, what are you waiting for, bud? Waiting for your stick? Alright, so priority number one is going to be to get a fire going here because I got a bit of a chill. So I got to say it's a little bit colder than I thought it was going to be. And I got soaked on the way in here, so that didn't help. So yeah, I'm gonna get uh, get a little fire going. I'm just gonna make a quick like makeshift fire pit here. I gathered up a few rocks out of the pond, and uh, I'll probably add on to this over the course of the weekend. But for now, I'm just gonna set out a simple fire pit, cut a little bit of dry wood, and get a fire going so I can kind of get that chill out of me, hopefully. And then I'll uh, I'll set up the rest of my camp. You stuck. <laughs> Goose will chase anything. Anything I throw, he'll go after it. I think he'd be tired now after uh, carrying that backpack in here. He had a pretty heavy load in that backpack, so I'd say he had at least 10, 15 pounds of gear. But didn't phase him at all. He's got more energy, I think, now than when we first started out. So he's over there trying to get me to ch throw the stick for him. Millie looks like she's starting to uh, tire out, so she don't have near the energy level that Goose has. Not even close. She'll be content enough to uh, lay down here now soon when I get the tent set up. Alright, so I got the fire going. I'm gonna put the kettle on here shortly, but I'm gonna set the tent up first. So just brought all the uh, old purple on this trip. So those of you guys who've been following the channel for a while, you've definitely seen this tent before. My little two-man nature hike uh, freestanding tent. So I've talked about this tent before in the past. Great little budget tent. I think it's like 200 bucks. And I actually went out and bought a new one of these just like it. It's a different color, but the exact same model of tent. That's how much I like it. I, I wanted to buy a new one before they ended up discontinuing them or changing them or whatever. So 
Got a brand new one just like it at home, haven't used it yet. So I'm gonna keep using this purple one until it wears out and then I'll, uh, I'll break out the new one eventually. Alright, got our camp all set up here. Millie's trying out her uh, sleeping pad and her blanket. So I got my regular setup, two sleeping pads, one for me, one for the dogs to share, and their wool blanket. I'm not gonna set my sleeping bag out yet because Millie will just end up laying on it and making it wet. She's having a little nap. So yeah, I'm gonna feed the dogs now. And uh, I'm gonna put the kettle on. Boil the kettle for a coffee, and then I'm gonna to have to spend like an hour or so at least uh, gathering up a bunch of firewood, enough to do me for tonight and for tomorrow morning for sure. So that's the plan. Anyway, he's gonna feed the dogs. There's old Goose. No worries about him going in the tent anytime soon. Supper time. So, I only brought one dog bowl because Millie chewed up the other one that I had. So, you're gonna have to share. I should feed Goose first, but I'm gonna go ahead and feed Millie because she's just gonna scarf hers down immediately. And honestly, I don't even know if Goose is gonna eat his sometimes when he's out like this. He just won't eat, he's so focused on fetching the stick and running around and stuff that he doesn't even eat. So we'll feed you first, Millie. Wait. Hey, wait. Wait. Millie, sit. Good girl. Okay. You gotta wait, Goose. Wait one minute, bud. Alright, Goose. Your turn, bud. Millie, yours is gone. Here, Goose. Good boy. Alright, well I got my two pots boiling here, so I'm going to get a coffee first, then I, uh, I brought some homemade chili, dehydrated moose chili for supper, so I'm going to get that going here soon. Starving now, I haven't eaten much all day, I had two protein bars since, uh, since breakfast this morning. Anyways, I'll show you guys what I brought for food, so I'm out for two nights, three days, so I tried to pack as, uh, as light as possible. Cause I had a heavy load of gear, my pack was loaded right down, so I had to try and keep uh, keep the food as light as possible. So unfortunately, no uh, no big fancy cook-ups on this video, but I'll show you guys quickly here what I brought. Okay, so I got this little bag here. It has my oatmeal for breakfast, so two packs for each morning. Four packs of that. And the rest in here is just uh, different bars, protein bars. So we have four of those, I already ate two, so I'll save two for tomorrow, two for the following day. And then I brought uh, just a regular chocolate bar. So that's what I brought for snacks. Well, actually I brought some, um, some beef jerky as well. Believe it or not, that's actually two packs of beef jerky, according to the bag, so that's like $15 worth of beef jerky at the grocery store right here. I could eat all that in like two minutes. Yeah, the price of beef jerky is crazy, much like everything else these days. All right, so supper tonight is a pack of this moose chili. I uh, dehydrated it back in June, so I'm gonna have that tonight. Tomorrow night, 
I've got one of these guys. Uh, noodles and beef. Got this at Canadian Tower this morning before I left to come out. So I'll have that for supper tomorrow night. And I got a bag of coffee. Roast more and coffee roasters. Tuckamore blend. Never tried this, but I saw it at the grocery store, so I picked up a bag of it. So it's about a half bag there. I'm gonna keep that out because I'm gonna have a couple of that here in a second. And in this bag here, uh, I got some hot chocolate in this plastic container. And then I just got some uh, some instant coffee packets in case I run out of the other stuff. And I got some of these little bile steel, these little bile steel um, powders that I mix in with my water, just to give the water a little bit of taste. There's also some electrolytes and stuff in this, so got a few packs of that, and that's pretty much it. That's all I brought. So not a whole lot of food, but enough. Enough to keep me going for a couple of days for sure. Well guys, it turned into an absolutely beautiful evening here. Unreal. So the wind completely dropped out. There's flat calm out on the pond right now. The sun is just about to set behind me. Things, yeah, it's almost gone down behind the horizon. Just a beautiful evening. Everything's nice and calm, nice and still. Yeah, this is what I've been, uh, this is what I've been waiting to do for a while. Just to get out here, sit by the fire like this, enjoy the peace and quiet, get the dogs out with me for a run. So that's gonna pretty much do it for tonight. I'm just having one last uh, cup of hot chocolate here and I'm gonna pack up all my food and stuff, hang it up in a tree back from camp a little ways. And uh, yeah, it'll soon be dark. So probably sit by the fire for another hour, maybe two, see how it goes. But tomorrow the plan is to just kind of explore around this area a little bit. Like I said earlier, I think I am gonna keep my camp here for tomorrow night as well. But uh, there's tons of country in here that we can explore. So we'll make a plan tomorrow to, uh, to head a little further in country. There's another pond not too far from here that we can kind of check out. I haven't really spent a whole lot of time in there before. So maybe we'll head that way and uh, hopefully run into some grouse or ducks or whatever. But yeah, just going to enjoy the evening. Glad to be back out here. And uh, thanks a lot for following along. I'll see you guys in the morning. morning so we're just getting up on the goal here having some coffee and uh, it's actually just starting to rain a little bit so it kind of sucks because I just got all the gear out of the tent and I strung up a little clothesline here to try and dry my socks but looks like we're gonna get a little shower of rain so anyways I uh, had a good night pretty quiet night around 3 a.m. or so or some kind of animal just back in the woods behind the tent I'm thinking maybe a fox or something fox or a lynx maybe I'm not really sure it was making a bit of a weird noise 
was almost like making a like a crying noise and I was just doing it over and over continuously for like five minutes straight it wasn't very far away at all uh, so yeah that woke us up for a little bit but managed to get back to sleep and uh, got up around six o'clock or so got the fire going so I'm not in any rush to do anything here this morning. I was actually looking forward to just sitting by the fire here for a couple hours, trying to dry out some of my gear from yesterday, my pants and my socks and stuff. So hopefully this rain will pass over fairly quickly here. I'll be able to dry out some gear and uh, I'll get some breakfast on the go here soon. And then we're gonna pack up some gear and uh, take the shotgun and just kind of explore around the area, do some hiking, hopefully find some grouse or some small game or some ducks or something. So I was kind of surprised yesterday we didn't see anything. We've done quite a bit of bushwhacking to get to this spot and uh, didn't come across any wildlife at all, really, only a couple of squirrels. So yeah, hopefully our luck will, uh, will change today. I'm hoping this rain is not going to stick around for too long, but it is what it is, so. Anyways, I'm going to have some coffee and we'll check back in here in a bit. Alright, where's all the grouse to, boys? Go get them. Go flush them out. Go get them. Go find them, goose. Go get them. Oh, finally got out of that thick, tangly stuff. Put it on this little bag now. The pond is just up here. Just gonna go up to the edge of the pond and have a look around. No sign of anything yet. Not even much fresh moose sign, which is surprising. Used to be a good spot for moose, but haven't seen any fresh sign at all, really. Dogs are loving it. Good dog, come on, let's go. Well, here we are at the uh, an old campsite. So I'll spend quite a few nights here. Some of you guys might recognize this spot. There's the fire pit. Nice little spot here too. There's another pond just out through the woods here. So we're gonna go have a look out there, see if we can't spot any ducks. Seen ducks out there in the past. <laughs> Nothing. There's all the ducks too, boys. There's all the ducks. <laughs> oh. Where's all the ducks to, Millie? Huh? Where's all the ducks? So, just gonna stop for a little rest here. Haven't seen a thing yet. So, anyways, it's a nice day. Dogs are having a time. Get my exercise in, exploring some territory, so it's all good. Just gonna wait here. Like I said, I've seen ducks in this pond before, so maybe I'll just sit here for half an hour or so. Have a drink and uh, a little snack, see if there's anything on the move. If not, we'll keep on going. Well, here comes the rain again. It's supposed to be uh, showers off and on all day, I think. So I just had to stop and get the raincoat out of my pack. Just came out of this little cove in this pond, have a look around. And once again, nothing. I got a feeling that's the only goose I'm going to see on this trip. Anyways, I'm going to keep on trekking around here, spend another couple hours at it. I'm going to find a spot to uh, stop for lunch here now in a bit. Just keep going. Come on, Millie, let's go. Come 
Well, no matter where you go, you can always find garbage in the woods. Looks like it's been here for a while. Well, just approaching the final little pond here that we haven't checked out yet. Rain is coming down pretty good here now. Well, rain is coming down pretty good here now. So this is the last little pond I wanted to check out. I've only ever been back here in the winter time. I think once, maybe twice. So I've never been back here this time of year. So I wanted to come back here and just have a look around, check it out. It's all tall grass around the edge of the pond and deep, fairly deep water. So there's no way to really skirt my way around the edge of the pond. I was gonna head up to the other end and just have a look around because I think there's a big bog up there. But yeah, it's too too hard to get around the edge of the pond without bushwhacking my way back through the woods. So I think I'm satisfied with how far I made it. Hopefully this rain is going to let up here. Yeah, I think I'm going to start to backtrack my way back to the, uh, the pond that we're camping on. And maybe we'll find a little shelter spot to uh, stop and boil the kettle, have a lunch. Probably take us a good hour or more to get back to camp, so. Anyway, if not in any rush, just gonna take our time, make our way back towards camp. Well, we just stumbled upon this game trail coming through this spruce forest here. Pretty beaten down, and uh, some black bear scat right here. Not fresh, but it's the first bit of bear song we've seen on this trip. So, I guess the bear has been uh, traveling back and forth here quite often by the looks of how beat down this trail is. I haven't seen much moose, fresh moose on at all. So about halfway back to camp, I guess. Starting to clear off again now, which is nice. The sun is even trying to uh, break out through the clouds here. So yeah, I was starting to get hungry, so I just stopped and uh, I'm gonna boil the kettle here at my little twig stove, have a little lunch, and then we'll make our way back to camp. Not all that much farther to go, really. So yeah, I'm absolutely soaked to the bone here now. So when I get back, I'm probably just going to uh, change into my dry base layer maybe climb into the tent and uh, chill out for an hour or two and then we'll see what happens from there kettles boiled So we're back at camp here, as you can tell. So I uh, didn't bother to film anything after we stopped for lunch, because well, there's basically nothing to see really. So didn't see any birds at all, all day. So anyways, I guess it was a bit of an unsuccessful little hunting trip today, but it's all good. Kind of hard to believe though, we uh, covered quite a bit of ground, spent the better part of the day out uh, trekking through the bush and didn't even flush up a single grouse, so. I guess they're, uh, they're pretty scarce in this area this year. But anyways, it's all good. Still uh, still did exactly what I wanted to do on this trip. Just spend the weekend out here with the dogs, do a little bit of hunting, a little bit of hiking. So, yeah, it's all good. So we're just relaxing in the tent here now. 
So Millie here is, uh, she's pretty well done in, I think. She looks to be pretty exhausted. Goose is still out there somewhere. He's either laying down out behind the tent or he may even be down in the water. I'm not really sure, but he doesn't go far. So I'm sure he's out there just hanging out somewhere. So yeah, hopefully this rain will uh, let up. It's just like a real light rain falling again right now. Hoping it's gonna clear off so we can kind of get out and uh, get the fire going here in a bit, cook up some supper. All right, so it is almost 6 p.m. So I figured I would do a little check-in. So I ended up taking a little nap in the tent when we got back from the hunt earlier. Probably for about an hour or so, I guess. Then we got out, got the fire going again, and dried out all my clothes again. Everything was soaked after uh, after that rain this morning. So got all the clothes dried out and fed the dogs. Then we went off for another little hike. So I took the shotgun and the dogs, and we hiked for, I don't know, close to an hour, I guess. So probably went about a kilometer each way. We went off in the opposite direction that we went this morning. Yeah, nothing. Didn't see anything again, so I didn't film any of that. All we saw was a bunch of squirrels. No shortage of squirrels around, but nothing else, unfortunately. So, back at camp now. Just settled in for the evening. Probably won't be doing much else. Just going to sit around the fire. Going to have my supper here soon. So, got this dehydrated meal. Noodles and beef. So, never tried that before. Not sure what it's going to be like, but... That's what we got for tonight. So not much else left in the old food bag now. Just got a couple packets of oatmeal for tomorrow morning. Got one protein bar left and about half of the chocolate bar. So that's about it. So before I forget, I just want to mention about the giveaway. So on my last video, I announced a giveaway. The channel just hit 2,000 subscribers. So decided to do another subscriber giveaway and uh, once again there were scammers or hackers or whatever you want to call them who were sending people messages and uh, saying that they won the giveaway and trying to get people to click on links and asking for personal information and all that kind of stuff so anyways i still haven't chosen a winner for the giveaway yet so today is september 23rd i believe at the time i'm filming this right now and yeah i still haven't chosen a winner but when I get back, uh, either tomorrow or Monday, tomorrow Sunday, next day is Monday. So in the next couple of days here, uh, I am going to choose a winner. And uh, don't worry, I will make sure the winner knows that it's me that's contacting them. So I'll announce the winner here in the next couple of days. So I just want to say thanks for everyone who entered the giveaway. And good luck to everyone in the, uh, in the draw. Yeah, other than that, just going to relax here for the evening. So... Probably not the most exciting hunting video for sure, but anyways, hope you guys enjoying the outdoor content. And we're just gonna relax by the fire, enjoy the last uh, last night out here. And yeah, that's about it. So I'll check in again here in a bit. Time to try out the old noodles and beef. Haven't had this flavor before. Pretty much uh, what I expected, so kind of tastes similar to those um, Lipton Sidekicks noodles that you buy at the grocery store. So, not too bad, I guess. Anyways, it'll uh, actually turn out to be another nice evening. Sun is out now, it's shining on the on the hill here on the other side of the pond. Really nice evening. So, I guess it'll be dark within the next hour or so. 
So I'll probably cut a little bit more firewood. Probably gonna sit by the fire for uh, for another couple hours here. Went in the tent pretty early last night and uh, maybe for a little bit of a long evening. So I'm gonna try and sit by the fire for a couple hours here. Then we'll be calling it a night. Waking up tomorrow morning and uh, hiking back out of here. So, anyways, guys, thanks for sticking around. I'll check in with you guys again later. are letting me know it's time to get up. Hey Goose, good boy. What's going on Millie? You're jealous, eh? Can't touch Goose or Millie gotta come barreling over and get in between us. Alright, let me try to get up and let you out. Taking our beautiful morning out on the pond. Should be a nice sunrise this morning over the hills. Well, another beautiful morning out there. So, slept like a brick last night. Oh man. I couldn't believe when uh, I woke up, it was 6.30, starting to get daylight. Felt like I just got in the tent and went to sleep. So, really good night's sleep last night. Yeah, the wind dropped right out again. Super quiet night. It's a beautiful morning out there. Should be a real nice sunrise over the hills here this morning. I'm going to get up, I guess, get the fire going. Do the regular routine, coffee and breakfast. We'll take it from there. All right, back on the move. So I'm actually gonna take a different route to get back to the truck that we took on the way in. So it'll be a little bit longer, but a couple of uh, more ponds that we can check out for ducks and uh, such a beautiful day, not really in any rush to get back. So I'm gonna take the scenic route to get back and see what we can see.
Kom aan, let's go. What is it, Goose? Another squirrel. I think we're gonna have to do a squirrel hunt next time. Would have cleaned up on squirrels on this trip. They're everywhere. Well, finally stumbled across a bit of fresh moose sign. So you can see there's a bed here in the grass. A couple of piles of poop. I guess the uh, moose are hanging out down around this area more so than up where we were camping. Seeing several beds here in this grass. This spot here right alongside a little brook. Alright, well, just stopped for a little break. So, probably close to halfway back to the truck now, I guess. So, this is the last last pond back behind me now that we're going to check out. So, we still got to bushwhack our way all the way down along the shore of this pond. When we get way up here, at the end of the pond, we can pick up uh, the old trail. And that will eventually take us back to the road. So, yeah, no sign of any ducks. Kind of surprised. I've seen ducks in these ponds in the past plenty of times, but uh, haven't seen a single bird all trip. So kind of strange, but that's the way she goes. made it back to the road I am beat so looking forward to getting home taking a shower grabbing a cold beer hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe comment and I hope to see you on the next one take care <laughs>